Hey everyone, this is Ross, and I'm going to show you guys how to use Massive to make a uh, white noise sweep uh, rather than using like presets or clips. Uh, and it's already made, it's built into Massive, so you guys should definitely use it uh, as a synth. So here's what it would sound like if you were to put it in a song. Most of you guys will probably be familiar with that, um, so I'm going to show you guys how to use it. Uh, and this is just an example of where I used it. Uh, it's good to use it for uh, transitions and like releasing tension and building up, so it's always good for the build up and the drop offs. So here's just a little sample of how I used it. Alright, and so if you heard on that last part, on the drop-off, it kind of uh, it really transitioned properly from like high energy to low energy, so these are really important uh, for your music. So I'm just going to show you guys how to make this uh, for yourselves in case you didn't know. So start off by doing File New Sound, and so the thing is, noise is always on, if you can see here. Um, the little module here it's always on but the amp is always down so if we play anything right now we're only hearing oscillator one and no white noise so let's turn that off because we don't want that and turn the amp up for white noise and there's a bunch of different noises you can fool around with which have some pretty cool uh sounds especially murmur and aluminum those are pretty cool for like experimental stuff and then just mess with the color and hear what you get essentially uh color it's just kind of, it's like the pitch of the noise, if that makes sense. So I'll demonstrate right now. Uh, it's used pretty creatively uh, rather than like band passing it. Like I'm going to show you guys. Uh, so it's pretty cool to experiment with color. So I'm going to put a knob on that actually. Um, but in any case, so what we want to do, so we have our white noise. Oh shit, whoops. Which is okay, you know, but we want to make it have that uh, whoosh, kind of sweeping kind of no uh, noise. And the way that we do that is use, for this I like to use bandpass, turn resonance down to there, bandwidth down to there, and cut off all the way down, and assign macro control 2 to the cutoff and boost it all the way. And so now Let's label this cut off. Now we can um, we can kind of make that. We already have that sound of sweeping just right now. Obviously, there's some a few effects that uh, you might consider putting on it to make it sound like mine. Uh, but this is kind of the bass sound once we have this. And I'm gonna put a macro for color. Uh, turn that all the way down and then boost it all the way up. That way, um, you can kind of have some experimental, kind of different sounding sweeps than all the other guys always have, which is just the band pass. So it's going to call this color. Um, we also want to EQ the high shelf up just a tiny bit and the low shelf down about there, because we, we really don't want our noise to stand out as a low so that makes that um, I'm not really sure if it's um, if it's a good idea to put on a dimension expander or to have multiple voices and pan it for sweep basically I don't, I don't know if it's a good idea for stereo sweeps so I wouldn't really touch I wouldn't boost voices or I wouldn't use dimension expander for this um, 
But some really common ones that I hear a lot are flanger and phaser, so those can make whatever sweeps you have sound really cool. I'm sure you guys have heard something along those lines before, uh, but I'm just going to keep it off just for the sake of the bass line. Uh, okay, and kind of want to turn the master up. It's a little loud, but that's basically how we want it to be when we put it in our mix. There we go. Um, and. It, it might be kind of cool to add some inserts just to make it even more interesting, like, uh, not delay, sample and hold. It makes it sound more blocky and distorted. Uh, but other than that, this is basically how you make uh, white noise on synth and how to use the filters to make it build up. So that's it for this tutorial, and I hope you guys liked it. And if you liked it, you should subscribe because I'm going to keep making more. Oh shit. What the fuck? So I'll see you guys next time.